ओम शांति वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग सो टुडे वी विल बी रीडिंग द मुरली ऑफ 14th जनवरी 1980 एंड दिस मुरली इज अ ब्यूटीफुल कन्वर्सेशन बिटवीन शिव बाबा एंड ब्रह्मा बाबा सो लेट्स हियर फ्रॉम बाबा इन हिज ओन वर्ड्स एज इट इज The title of today's Murli is "The Spiritual Commander Meeting the Spiritual Army." What special gathering is this today? A special dialogue took place in the settled region. On seeing this gathering, this group of children, who are double servers, doubly serviceable, and doubly knowledgeable. so father brahma said these are my special arms father shiv said this is my rosary of rudra the rosary of rudra is of special beads in the course of this chit chat shiv baba asked father brahma are all these arms your right hands or left hands and now baba is explaining what like right and left is right so to be a right hand means to be constantly equal to the father that is clean and truthful so are all of you right hands so father brahma smiled and replied that baba had the chart of each child with him while this talk about the charts was going on each child's chart emerged in front of baba and this is quite interesting like we have all these flow charts and uh, you know the visual representations on the dashboards and all uh, you know in the wonderful way baba explained and showed us exactly like how this charts look like so the next thing is how did they emerge in the form of a clock each one had the face of a clock and was divided into four parts to represent the four subjects similar to how you portray the world cycle so see how baba is helping us you know visualize this each section had a separate pointer showing the percentage of marks in each of the four subjects each one's chart was very clearly visible while they examined the charts uh, baba was like analyze doing the lot of analysis and baba said bab tada continued their conversation what do you see when you look at the clock of the time and the clock of the children's effort according to the clock of the time the result shown in the clock of efforts for the majority of children was 75% okay in two of the sections that is in two subjects however their percentage of marks in the other two subjects was much lower so bab dada said going by these results could this group be called an everready group just as everything is ready for the button of destruction to be pressed and it has now reached the point where it is just a matter of a second so you children who are instruments for establishment also need to be ready in a second so is so is the powerful button of your awareness ready to such an extent that as soon as you have a have the thought you are able to become bodiless so the first thing what baba was is explaining is to you know forget you know the awareness of the body consciousness and become bodiless as soon as you have the thought you need to be able to stabilize in the elevated stage of a world manufacture for all and remaining stable in that stage watch as a detached observer the scenes of destruction so 
are we able to you know stabilize ourselves and another thing is to see the scenes of trauma of destruction as a detached observer so is your button powerful of awareness ready to such an extent that you would be able to go beyond all bodily attractions that is the attraction of all relationships physical possessions and sanskars to go beyond the attractions of nature's upheaval become an angel and stabilize yourself in the elevated stage and distribute rays of peace and power to all souls so baba is asking us this question like are we ready you know in this way where we are able to you know go beyond all the possessions all sanskars or attraction of all relationships or bodily attractions everything and become an angel you know very still stable and spread the light of peace and power to everyone only when both buttons are ready can completion finally take place so while this group was being seen the charts emerged in the settled region in a physical army there are all varieties of soldiers some are at the border some go on to the battlefield that is they attack directly some have to stay at the rear in order to provide support services the director is the backbone in the same way this group is of those who will go onto the field of service victory or defeat depends on the soldiers who go onto the battlefield if those who go onto the battlefield are weak if they don't have their weapons and are afraid there can never be victory for the director this is the group of servers who go onto the field of world benefit this group is courageous do you have the power to face and the power to give an experience for everyone to see from your elevated character the image of bab dada do you have such weapons what do you think are you a group of such embodiments of power are you those who are holding all the ornaments of for all four subjects are you the embodiments of power with two arms or are you those who have four arms the four ornaments symbolizes the four subjects so are you holding all your ornaments or are some of you only holding two ornaments and others only holding three or is it that when you pick up one you drop another so do you understand the importance of this group so baba is again referring to the you know the chart that baba saw in the form of the four parts of the cycle so if we focus on one subject you know the others take the back seat so what is it so baba is actually helping us understand and see ourselves reflect so you are the group of those who have to go onto the battlefield of service this means that you are the group of victorious images of support you images of support are strong are you not the supports are not going on to are not going to shake are they just imagine if someone who is trying to save is you know not ready or is constantly shaking is you know battling with their own self how can he serve others help others so baba saw that there was 75% in the subjects of both knowledge and service you must now pay greater attention to the subjects of remembrance and dharna so 75% with seva service and knowledge was wonderful but baba is now drawing our attention to the subject of remembrance and dharna become those who hold all four ornaments otherwise you will not be able to grant the souls 
of the world a complete vision. So what special attention must now you have in order to hold on to these other two ornaments? You are double servers. Double servers, Baba is explaining. You go to work and you also work for God. You go to work and you also work for God. You have been given double the service to do. One for livelihood of your body and the other for the livelihood of yourself, the soul. You have been given both types of service according to Bhavtada's directions. However, do you pay attention to giving equal time and energy to both types of service? Do you keep the two sides of the scales equally balanced? Is your pointer placed accurately or do your scales have Scales not have a pointer. And what is the pointer? Baba is saying that pointer is Srimad. When your pointer of Srimad is accurate, both sides will remain equal. This means that the balance will be fine. If your pointer isn't accurate, there cannot be balance. If the pointer isn't accurate, there cannot be balance. So it is very important if I'm going to work or if I'm serving in Baba's service, I have to make sure that I am completely balanced. And the balance, to strike that balance, Srimata is very important. Some children pay more weight on one side than the other. Work, 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 or service, 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 Baba service. How? They feel that they definitely have to fulfill their world, worldly responsibilities. You know, I have to take care of my family. I have to take care of my kids. You know, whatever, blah, 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 blah. Whereas when it comes to their godly responsibilities, they say that they will fulfill them. They say that their worldly responsibility must definitely be fulfilled. Whereas their godly responsibility will be fulfilled later. This is why the weight on one side is greater. What is the result of that? The weight holds them down so, they, so that they cannot get up again. The heavier side of the balance touches the ground and the lighter one, lighter side rises. Those who are well balanced will be able to go up. Those who are well balanced will be able to go up. They won't touch the ground. However, those who touch the ground get influenced by the earth's gravity. They are pulled actually with all those responsibilities and everything. Because of being burdened, they are unable to stay light whilst on the field of godly service. Therefore, they do not become constant embodiments of success. The burdens of their karmic accounts and the opinions of others bring them down. They maintain the honor of the world they left behind, but forget to maintain the honor of this confluence aged world to which they now belong. They forget where have they come, you know, but constantly they are thinking about their worldly life, their worldly responsibilities. And again, as Baba mentioned, karmic account, the burden of the karmic accounts, opinion of others, you know, that pulls them down. They are now, they are constantly aware of having to maintain the honor of the world that is going to be burnt. Only sometimes do they become embodiments of awareness of the imperishable world, even though they are reminded that it is on the basis of this that the future world is being created. To keep a balance between your household business and your godly business means to remain constantly light and constantly successful in both. So again, Baba is again reminding that we have to strike the balance of household business and godly business, you know, which means to stay constantly light and constantly successful, both. In fact, you should change the word household 
As soon as you speak of your household, you become a householder. Drasti Panchate Baba Kate. Therefore, remember that you are not householders, but trustees. Don't consider it to be household business, but trust business. What do you do when you become householders? What game do householders play? When you become householders, you make many excuses. You speak a great deal of language of, if it is like this, then it can be like this. If you say, uh, when you, you say, it is like this, it is like that, uh, giving excuses. Mm. And so begin to make the situation even bigger. You know that it, you know that you will be, you will have to do this. And that one is like this. This one is like that. The language changes. Mm. You begin to try and teach the father this lesson too. When you become a trustee, you stop making excuses and start your stage of ascent. So from today, do not consider yourself to be involved in any household business, but act as a trustee. Someone else is responsible and you are just an instrument. The trustee does not have that uh, you know, thought in his mind that, you know, this is mine. I'm just responsible to take care of the business or whatever. So when you bring about this transformation in your thoughts, your words and deeds will then also be transformed. Each of you in this group can perform great wonders. Each one of you can become a sample of a karma yogi and an easy yogi and thus become an instrument to inspire other souls to make this elevated deal. Limited gurus have a dis disciple who will claim that throne and glorify the name of his guru. Here, the Sadguru has so many children seated on his heart throne and each child can perform such an elevated task. Baba is so confident about, you know, we all children. And Baba has given us his heart throne, which no other guru can give. Baba considers each of you to be serviceable child who can benefit the world and thereby glorify Father's name. So we have a huge responsibility and Baba is reminding us of that. Since one light, that is Deepak, can light many others and create a rosary of lights, each of your lights, that is Deepak's, will bring about a festival of light in the whole world. Do you understand what this group has to do? Various groups have to serve various groups of souls and become images of support to inspire them to create an elevated life and find salvation. Just as you double foreigners, so you are also doubly knowledgeable and doubly serviceable. So Baba gave this title to children you know, in the beginning itself, that you are doubly knowledgeable, doubly serviceable. Therefore, you have to give double results. So this Morley has completed here and towards the end, Baba is reminding and revising all the you know, pointers in today's Murli and giving us blessings towards the end to those who are constantly free from all bondage to the special showpieces in the showcase of the world to the images of support who bring about world transformation to those who uplift themselves and the world following by Srimad, to such constant servers, to the unlimited servers, Bhaktata's love, remembrance, and Namaste. So let us give Baba a lot of love and remembrance and say Namaste. Thank you, Baba. Thank you for your love. 
and blessings. So Baba is meeting the group of engineers and doctors today. So let us hear what Baba blessed them with. In a very beautiful way, Baba said, this is a group of double doctors. Just as some doctors are specialists in their special subject, for what special service have you spiritual doctors become instruments? In the physical world, some are eye specialists, some are throat specialists, some are surgeons, and others simply prescribe medicine. So what specialities are needed to become a spiritual doctor? To be able to cure someone's illnesses of his old sanskars in a second by giving him drishti with your eyes means to make him forget the illness for that length of time. Are you the doctors who have this speciality? Just as they can heal eyes in the same way, just by giving them drishti, you should first be able to suppress and finish their old sanskars and then make them peaceful there and then. Are you such specialist doctors? This is what it means to become an eye do doctor who can cure everyone just by giving them drishti. Just as you can prescribe medicine to suppress someone's pain for a short time, so too you should become an eye doctor who can make everyone well and content by giving them drishti. You're not only physical doctors, you're also spiritual doctors. A spiritual eye doctor means one who heals with spiritual vision. So how powerful Adrishti has to be. It is not only for uh, the doctors who are specialists, but Baba is talking about us all. You know, we all children are, you know, Baba is a supreme surgeon and we all are, you know, the master surgeons, you know, who have to cure the whole world, you know, who is ill right now. So just as doctors can operate with the power of the instruments, so you should be able to use the powers you have within you as your instruments to finish everyone's weaknesses. You would generally perform an operation using the instruments you have in your own operating theater. You wouldn't use your patient's instruments. In the same way, you should be able to cure their illness with the instruments of your powers. You should be able to make a lustful person free from lust and an angry person free from anger. For this, you have to use the tools of tolerance. For this, you have to use the tools of tolerance. Are you doctors able to perform such an operation? Just as there an eye specialist can and no specialist there are eye specialist and no specialist. You have different specialities here too. Any of you can claim whatever degree you want. However, those who become all-rounders in all specialities become very famous uh, in the world. Like we have people or doctors with different specialities. We have a cardiac surgeon, you know, we have, you know, for every organ, almost we have, you know, different specialists. So they become very famous then. People demand for those doctors then. So your doctors can do a lot of service. How? When your patients first come to you, they come in the form of complete beggars. Even if a doctor prescribed medicine, medicine for the patient was that was wrong, or even it was water, just water, the patient would still recover because of his faith in the doctor. They are cured with the nourishment of happiness. They aren't cured with medicine, but with happiness. See, this is the secret that Baba is revealing. They come begging to you doctors and ask you to stop their pain even for a short time. No matter what you tell them at that time, they are ready to listen to you. Just as you are able to give them an injection and make them totally unconscious in a second so that they feel no pain. So you should also be able to give them the injection of knowledge 
that would make them totally unconscious and forget their old sanskars. Each of you has this injection. Do you not? Those who are first able to give themselves an injection and forget their old sanskars are then able to give injections to others on basis of their own experience. So you double doctors should have some speciality. Anyone who comes now will be sent to you. Let them not go back just like that. You are being given a very good chance to make progress in service. Doctors can create many subjects in just one day. Uh, so wonderful thing, no? doctors can create many subjects in just one day. Every day, ready-made subjects come to you. You don't have to go looking for them. Otherwise, you would have to spend so much money putting on fairs and exhibitions. However, it is very easy for you. Once you develop a relationship with them, you can even make them become Baba's children. Of course, some will say that this is very good and then go away. However, at the end, when there is upheaval, they will want this and come back to you because of their that realization. Therefore, continue to serve them. They will definitely believe you to be their special deity. If nothing else, at least they will come to you. They will become your devotees. If at the end, they say that you gave them a very good message, that you are a messenger, even if they think this much, they become your devotees. The last stage of devotees, the last stages of devotees and that too is needed. Okay. So, we'll continue with this morally tomorrow. From here, those who come here now, come after taking the seven days course. So, we will stop here today. Or let's complete this one paragraph if it is okay. So that the, the, the meeting with doctors will be over and we can start with the next an engineer group. So, those who come here now, come after taking the seven days course. But very few of them continue this on the basis of their own courage because they are part of the last crop. The last crop doesn't have as much strength as the earlier ones. Therefore, it is now time to use your own powers to help the, the souls that come here now to progress. Compared with you, the souls that come now are too late because they are in the last crop. Therefore, give them some of your own enthusiasm and help them progress. Become great donors and bestowers of blessings because they cannot move forward by themselves. Now invent such a powerful tool that they can have an experience within a second. Increase the number of your equals. You know, like you are, make other people so capable and, you know, with so much power, powers, you know, just as you are. Prepare such an injection that as soon as you inject them, they become unconscious. They become unconscious to that world and come to this world. You have now, you now have to prepare such an injection. We shall see how much the number of you increases this year. At least your equals should not complain that they weren't told about this. They would even complain and say that although they didn't, didn't wake up by themselves, it was your duty to wake them up. They'll complain later. So if you send them an invitation or a leaflet one only once, how could they wake up with just that? If you just shout out once, to wake up someone sleeping in the sleep of Kumbhakarna, how would he be awakened? They are in deep sleep. So this is why you repeatedly have to wake them up. Achha. So we stop here for today and tomorrow we will continue with the engineers group and uh, we'll take a moment of silence now and then we continue with the learning of today's model. Om Shanti.
ओम शांति सो टुडे मुरली वाज मोर अबाउट द चिट चैट विथ बाबा ब्रह्मा बाबा एंड शिव बाबा एंड हाउ बाबा यू नो शेयर द चार्ड्स ऑफ चिल्ड्रन इन अ वंडरफुल वे इन अ वेरी ब्यूटिफुल you know we baba presented it to us and baba saw that only 75% of you know, children were you know the majority of them were good in two subjects that is knowledge and service but baba draw you know baba reminded us that it is very important for us to focus on the subject of remembrance and dharma so for me the biggest takeaway was to constantly focus on a lot on remembrance and check minutely what am i dharnas currently and how i can work on it and how i can improvise you know constantly keeping a check and you know working on myself constantly where am i lacking and even the sakar murli baba has been talking about a lot last week baba spoke too much so much about you know maintaining a chart and having a constant eye on your self progress so this is something which i really liked would you like to share add on with your takeaways from today's murli what are the words that you that are still ringing in your ears i guess we have one doctor also baba met with i know uh, the doctors and beautifully explained like what doctors or how doctors can serve and how they can make you know uh, all the patients baba's children what are the different ways how they can serve so please you can continue with your sharing and your takeaways Om Shanti Tatta Bhai. Om Shanti. You know this uh, Murli. I don't know whether it's an extension because for the past two days mm -hmm. we have all been listening to this word equal, equal, and even yesterday the qualities of being equal. Baba said something else. Where Baba said, "No auto remembrance of the body." and then he says everything belongs to god nothing belongs to me sure. but today in fact just to be very 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 honest with you even though you went forward in the murli mm -hmm. i just stopped at that loaded paragraph of household and trustee mm -hmm. in fact it was such a deep uh, churning that i was trying to really find out what baba was really saying over here sometimes he calls us as right hands shiv baba is calling us as rosary then mm. the title says he's like a spiritual commander and then he's saying i look at you like clocks mm -hmm. but all that when he came he is looking at us as a clock he is seeing what we are but when he gave the result that i have got 75% in knowledge and service i immediately related to the title which he gave first your double knowledgeful and double serviceable mm -hmm. so to support that he said this but yoga and dharma and he used it like a balance you know like a tula bharam mm -hmm. where one side we have what we are going to offer and one side i am seated i still was thinking about which side yoga or dharna which side is hitting the ground which side touches the ground and why did it touch the ground and and what all baba has said that whenever you say you say baba i have to take care of this world i have to take care of my family because i have to maintain the honor of the world how can i just say no i don't need to take care of the world and all that is the household and trustee it, it's really deep thinking he says that and then he's saying 
uh, Baba, you know, unless I create a good world now, how can I create a future world? So it is important the way children argue. And then Baba just said one thing in the next paragraph, which is what was my takeaway. Don't consider your interaction to be of a household, mm -hmm. but interaction of a trust. That one thing that mine, I don't like, situations, uh, things, problems, all that, no. Just, and he gave the example of Brahma Baba, how Brahma Baba just surrendered everything. And then I, nothing belonged to him. Everything belonged to Baba. He took from there. I, I think that's a great thing, that kind of trusty transformation to bring in our thoughts and all is this. That's why, as I said, I was, I'm just in those two paragraphs. And still, I have not come out of uh, it to know why should I not mean look after the world? Why should I just think? But when Baba gave me, as I always use, you know, this is a thing from me. I B B B B M. I belong to Baba. Baba belongs to me. Mm. I was just there. I I'm still not. Uh, I'm still waiting to see why did my balance hit the ground and which hit the ground. So I have not come out of those two paragraphs, Om Shanti. Thank you so much for a uh, wonderful sharing and uh, crafting it so well. Thank you. Anyone else would like to share? Uh, just adding on. Uh, so Papa said, when you consider uh, yourself to be a trustee, right? So only then you stop making excuses. Otherwise, there will be a lot of excuses for doing things. Mm -hmm. So um, this uh, being a householder, there will be so many things to look after. So if you start thinking beyond that, you are not a householder, a trustee, then everything becomes easy. Mm -hmm. You start and you stop giving excuses there. Thank you, Om Shanti. Om Shanti, thank you. Anyone else? So if I... Bhai, could you please explain this one sentence? As I told you, I want to ask approach. Each of you can become a sample of a karma yogi Mm -hmm. And then he says, an easy yogi, and thus become an instrument to inspire other souls to make this elevated contract. Just that one sentence, because it's too much really uh, to understand after the interaction of household. Mm -hmm. Just that one sentence. Mm -hmm. um, like, uh, if you see, uh, Baba always gives this example, just yeah. So when I when Baba is teaching us this wonderful knowledge, you know, he's decorating our souls in a very powerful way, you know, injecting a lot of powers and making us so strong, you know, to help and serve others, so many of them. So Baba is uh, you know making us in a very beautiful, you know, shaping us uh, or uh, uh, you know. Baba would like to show the world like who are God's children. So when Baba is teaching us to remember him, to churn the knowledge and in number of things, Baba has taught us to become a deity, you know, who are the perfect individuals or human beings or, you know, the, you know, the best, uh, you know, souls in this world, you know, on this whole uh, stage. So Baba is helping us uh, being a karma yogi in remembrance of Baba, like whatever acts we perform or whatever karma we do, you know, that becomes an example for others. Like when others see, ah, we are also doing the same job, we are also working the same office. Then uh, look at him, how he's completing his tasks. I remember when I was working in my last organization almost 14 years ago, uh, there were, you know, my colleagues, I used to see them and I used to see myself. 
and uh, whatever task my boss used to give me in the morning i used to finish it i'm not bragging about myself but this is how the difference we see and it's not with me but most of us bks we have experienced this i used to see that i was able to complete that task in 2 to 3 hours the entire day's work and then i used to see look at my colleagues you know the entire day they used to do like one one task take a break and that break used to be for almost half an hour chit chat unnecessary chatter tick, you know um, wasting their time and you know that simple task you know it used to take like more than 8 hours and yet it is incomplete so this is the difference and you won't believe i used to still follow the rule of traffic control in my office and my boss used to always tell that you know hey if let's say if that silent music used to play in between uh even my boss used to support me a lot hold on hold on let him complete as you know remembrance and then we'll continue with the discussion so this is how i also got a lot of support from my team so this is what baba is saying that when you be are a karma yogi in when you are doing your task in baba's remembrance so then automatically people will see the difference and they will feel like okay let me also do this that is how they become sahaj yogi easily you know when you're walking when you know you're constantly praising baba thank you baba you did this thank you baba you did that and you know it is a lot of happiness that you, you know we constantly have you know it's just a, the joy overflowing yes i'm not alone baba is doing this task with me and the task becomes so easy and in return like you know there's a lot of appreciation we get from people ultimately we know that it is baba doing it through us but the praise is what we get in return i hope i was able to explain it and answer you yeah that's right yeah. but can you see we yeah. are a group of mothers over here see we have yeah. a lot of what we say household things and all yeah. as in that paragraph baba said over here yeah. do not can you say the extent of household interaction which a mother Mm-hmm. or an extent of what should be as a trustee we know it little because baba keeps giving us mm-hmm. but i don't know i felt uh, today baba was just like saying no mm-hmm. no more households like that could you just uh, suggest something mm-hmm. a the, balance to keep please yeah in the household context like uh, baba usually gives so many examples uh, but again uh, for me personally if i look at household uh when does it become a burden for me when i say that it is my responsibilities when i see my relationships in the household you know that i have to do this for you know maybe let's say your daughter your son your family whatever but here when we boil down you know you come down back to the basics you know let's say if i just look at each of my family member as a soul then my connection my relation with them my responsibility everything becomes light so this is the difference where let's say you mother and let's say the another mother who is not in gyan if they are taking up the responsibilities how will you interact with them how will you perform your task let's say you are in the consciousness saying that i am a soul i am doing you know uh, uh, whatever household work you are doing let's say cooking or uh, cleaning the house or whatever you have this consciousness so how will you feel when you are performing this task you will have this consciousness that this is baba's house i'm i'm you know serving in baba's house i am you know unlimited so this is your thoughts this is your you know programming that you have done consciously you're working on yourself so with lightness you'll do it with happiness you do it baba said today you know the happiness is the best tonic let's say and you know you are in that intoxication wow baba bless me this is you know uh, let's say you are engaged with some work and you know uh, there is always a hustle bustle happening so you you to say baba you do this i'll do this so there's a w- interesting conversation that we have with baba and let's say if there is another mother who is performing it uh, performing her task what constantly will go on in her mind are i have to do this i have to do this i am the only one person who is constantly you know uh, running from pillar to post doing this doing that i you know it's always that you know i have to do it and taking all sorts of burden so what is their thought process and what is my thought process there is a complete difference i don't never say that it is i have to do it and you know someone else who does not is not in gyan will always say that it is always that i and here the i there is a lot of difference in both one is of body consciousness and the other one is of 
you know, the soul conscious. Did that help? <laughs> yes, another thing that you reminded is like, yes, of course, we are an instrument, we are doing this, yes. So if there is any 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 challenge, we give it up. Baba, take the, take care of this. That way. Okay. So let us now come back to our original consciousness. And see yourself as light, an instrument, very powerful, blessed, knowledgeable, very honest, full of God's love. And see that energy radiating all around. And I see myself constantly under the beam of light. I see Shiv Baba radiating all his light of love, of protection, of knowledge, all the powers. I, the soul, is constantly in the remembrance of Baba. Full of love, full of light. And with this energy, I start my day, and in every action, I see this light, his connection, his presence. His love, His powers working through me. Om Shanti. Uh, there is one announcement. And. Uh... Uh, yes, uh, so this Sunday, um, Sister. Uh, Deepa, sister from um, Mumbai, will be taking an early month in session. Um, this Sunday, um, June 2nd. So we'll request everyone to join. Um, so this is the details of the session of Deepa Didiji on Sunday. And the topic is the art of art, awareness, realization, and transformation. Thank you so much. Om Shanti. We'll continue with this monthly tomorrow. Thank you. Sorry, Daniel. Om Shanti. Thank you, Baba. Thank you, Tattava. Thank you, Divine Family. See you tomorrow at 5 a.m. Till that time. Have a lovely day.